Hello everyone, today I'm going to be working on my Wisteria bonsai tree and it is time to prune it. It has finished flowering so I'll be removing the stalks on which the flowers were and also reducing the tendrils. And if you have a Wisteria tree growing in your garden, I will also be showing how to prune those trees. The technique is slightly different so stay tuned. Hey, it's me, Iqbal Khan. If you have not yet subscribed to Mick Bonsai, then click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to subscribe and receive notifications as I upload new videos. Welcome back. This is the Osiria tree. It's quite big, it's quite old. The trunk, as you can see, I can barely get my hand round it. It's quite large. And uh, I'll be pruning it, removing the uh, stalks where the flowers were and in my case, I don't need the seeds, so I'll be removing all of them. And if you do need the seeds, then leave a few on uh, and the seeds can be collected later on in the summer. This is a stalk on which the flowers were. So I'm going to prune it right back to there. So that's off. And uh, likewise, we will continue and work around the tree. And here I have three stalks where the blooms were. Oh, there's another one here, so it's about four. And these I will simply remove by pruning it right up to the start, where the start was. So that's gone. And likewise, this next one is cut, removed, and there are two more here. Uh, this one is starting from here. So again, we'll go right to the point where it starts and remove it and same thing with the fourth one just move these out of the way and I'll go in from the bottom and cut and remove so that's done so this is the process which will be repeated throughout the tree and I will crack on with it and we'll catch up shortly the tendrils on this tree are not very big, so I'm just going to show you how to deal with it. In between the new leaves and the tendril are these little buds. And on this, this tree there are about four of them, as you can see in the close-up. That's a little bud, that's a little bud, and similarly there are buds on this leaf and this leaf and the stalk. That's where the buds are. And these tendrils have a tendency to get very long very quickly, and to keep the tree compact I would suggest that you a leave between two to four of these buds. I'm going to reduce it down to two because I want the tree to be very compact. So I'm just going to cut it above the so from that leaf there. I have in fact got two leaves and two buds. So that's how I've reduced it to, to there. And uh, that's the way to work around the tree. I'll do one more. Right, there are five sets of leaves on this tendril here, which is above my finger. And I'm going to reduce it to leaving two leaves and two buds. So there we go. So cut it with the scissors off. That's done. Well, there we are. My Wisteria bonsai tree. The flower stalks have all been removed and the tendrils have been reduced to within between two and four leaf sets with uh, buds. Those buds are the next year's flower buds and that's where the stalks will develop and flowers will come. If the tendrils are left unpruned then the tree will not be bonsai anymore as it will go wild. The tendrils grow very fast in summer and that's the reason for pruning now and it'll be pruned again in August time. Immediately after finishing flowering it should be fed very heavily and I use chicken pallets. They work a treat for this tree as well. And the other thing that you have to do in the summer is to place the tree in a shallow tray of water. I use this tray. This is the one that it's always been in and it will be filled with water and placed on the bench immediately after this and the tree will be placed in it. What that does is feeds the tree 
with water as the foliage there's a lot of it and it's continuously growing it needs a lot of water and also the, the feeder roots are rotted and which aids with the flowering of the tree in the following season. We will now head over to the front of my house and look at the two wisteria trees I've got growing, one in a large tub and one in the ground. And the pruning is going to be very different from, from uh, pruning of a wisteria bonsai tree. The tree which is growing in the tub at the front, I do not want the tendrils getting themselves wrapped around the wooden trailings and the woodwork in the front of the porch and for that reason I'll be cutting it right back and whereas the one growing against the wall is to be trained and uh, big branches grown on, along the wall so that pruning will be slightly different. This tendril here is already about two meters long and uh, we are barely at the beginning of June and by August it will be at least six to seven meters long and there is nowhere for this to go. I don't want this to get very long so I'm going to cut this back to about three, leaving about three loads, nodes and three sets of buds. And same thing with this one again getting very very long as you can see doubling back and it will be reduced again leaving three sets of leaves and three sets of nodes and I'm going to repeat the process uh, with all of it and that's basically to keep this tree fairly compact. I don't want this growing too much. I don't want to train this around the woodwork of the house. It gets quite nasty uh, as it grows. It just uh, will damage the woodwork. So basically this is to stop it from causing any more damage to the front as uh, more than is necessary. Also there are stalks from the flowering and I'm also removing those. This is the second tree against a white wall at the front on the left of the house and already the tendrils on this tree are on the right hand side are turning round the wall and turning right. Those I'll be shortening and also at the top they are starting to climb up the wall and uh, this again I'm going to cut back, reduce them. You can see these two and then they will get tangled up with the neighbor's honeysuckle which is not good and I don't want them going up the wall so they will be cut back, grown drastically and then on this side I want to train a couple of tendrils along this wall so they will be left to grow and uh, I have already nailed a few nails into the wall and will be tied with twine and taken along the left hand side of the wall. I've already removed one of these which is going straight up so I'll now remove this one and so that's done and also here I want to stop these going up so I'm going to prune these right back and so that's all that done and uh, then just general reduction of the tendrils and uh, stalks, the flowering stalks have to be removed. There were lots of them, so it'll take me a while and we'll, we'll catch up shortly. Well, that's uh, all pruned, the uh, flower stalks removed, the tendrils reduced to between three and four leaves and nodes. And also I've managed to tie up a wire to train it along the wall. There are two tendrils being trained along this wire and uh, after this point here uh, there aren't any leaves yet but there are leaves developing in a few other places but this is how the tendrils grow. You can see it all along the wire. So it's quite long and that's where the tendril ends and I'll have to keep an eye on it to keep uh, wrapping it around the wire. We'll now head back to the Wisteria bonsai tree. That's all for now folks. Thanks for watching. This is Iqbal Khan for Mick Bonsai in West London. Until the next time. And now for the afterthought. Back in the day Instagram meant 
really efficient drug dealer. You dig, 